Hey everyone, I'm David, and uh, I know it's been a while since I posted a video on this channel, so I'd like to start things up once again by answering a few of your questions, opening some mail, and then vlogging a little bit. Vlogging. 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 That's a funny word. So, uh, first we will start off by um, opening some of your mail. Some of you might not know, but I actually reopened my P.O. Box address again recently, which you'll find the address in the description. And um, some of you have seen me open stuff on DocJazz 6, which I'm no longer using because I'm, uh, I'm rearranging some of the, the stuff that... Um, some of my video schedule, we'll just say, leave it at that. So, um, DocJazz 4 is going to be for all music. Um, I'm going to be posting um, Celtic traditional stuff, and then also some jazz stuff, and then original pieces um, that are going to be for, on my album, as well as some of the little more geeky stuff. Uh, that you guys like to hear from video games and anime and movies and all that good stuff. And then this channel is going to be more of my talking videos. So reviews, tutorials, and then these vlogs for you guys. But I digress. Let's get back to the mail. Our first letter comes from Ian out of Elgin, Illinois. Illinois. What did I do with my letter over there? I know it's around here somewhere. Where did I put it? Just before I put it back here. Okay, I found it. So we're opening Ian's litter, and I really hope I don't cut anything because I know I've cut something before. And Ian included a paper with some awesome symbols on it. And he included some Pokemon cards! Awesome! I have a Bellsprout and two Energies, which will promptly go into my grass, probably. I think I have a grass fire deck somewhere. No, I don't play anymore, but they're just sitting around in my closet, so they will be put to good use at some point. So these are the symbols that are on the litter. You have a Peruvian ocarina, a mountain ocarina, a sweet potato ocarina, which looks like a double actually, a uh, English pendant, triforce, and then some symbols over here. I think these are for the spiritual stones from Ocarina of Time. Correct me if I'm wrong. And Ian writes, David, hi, in your mailbag Wednesday, I noticed that you wanted Pokemon cards, a leaf or a flower, so here it is. Oh, I get it. Grass. I hope you know, and I want you to know, that you got me started on Ocarina's, and, I intro and introduced me to a world beyond Legend of Zelda Oot. I have a plastic blue TNG 12-hole Alto C. Also, I'm ordering an inline CNG Ocarina from MountainOcarinas.com. If you have any upcoming collabs, I would be honored to be a part of one. My account name is the Shadowlands 14 Thanks, Ian. Thank you, Ian, and uh, I'll definitely uh, keep you in mind for any future Ocarina collabs, which I actually have like four or five other collabs in the pipeline, so we'll <laughs> see how we'll point I might even get to that. But thank you for the letter and the cards. You're awesome. Next, we have a package from Gene out of Rhode Island. So it's a pretty hefty size box. Let me get this open. It looks like she packaged it in an old somber ocarina box, so Jean, you have good taste. And I have popcorn! Okay, that's not all she included in here. And Jean has very nice handwriting. Okay, so there's something in plastic wrap, but I'm going to read her letter first. Hello, David. I wanted to send you a little token of appreciation for all the work you do sharing your passion for the Ocarina with your fans. I've been a subscriber for, to your Doc Jazz channels on YouTube since I started playing six months ago. I enjoy watching you play and I find your tips and reviews helpful. I especially love your version of Ballad of the Windfish. So I thought, what could I give to a talented young man who has an incredible affection of collection of Ocarinas, but another Ocarina? Yes? So here's a little economic windfish for you. Ceramic windfish, I'm sorry. 
for you. I don't think you will actually use it in one of your videos since the sound quality is probably iffy at best, but perhaps it will perhaps it will serve as a reminder of how inspirational you are to me and other Ocarina enthusiasts. Best wishes, Jean. Thank you, Jean. I'm really excited to see this now. Aww. That's so cool. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's a little blue whale ocarina. It looks like it has Chinese on it. I don't know who made it. It's so cute. Here's a little close-up. I don't know where you blow. Oh, you blow in the face. Jean, thank you so much for your letter and for the ocarina. It does sound beautiful, and um, I'll be I'll be remembering your kind words every time I look at it. So thank you again. And our final letter comes from Willie out of Mississippi, and he writes, "Dear David." I first started watching you in 2008-2009 when I was in the 5th grade, about to move into middle school or junior high. I saw, I saw your Song of Storms video with your pendant ocarina and watched breathlessly from the first note to the thunderclap at the end. Later that same day, I googled what an ocarina was and I immediately decided that I needed to learn how to play this. By next Christmas, my want was known throughout my family. On Christmas, I opened a present and found a plastic ocarina. I had, I had the serenade of water learned within the hour. A few days later, another family member gave me a songbird, songbird sweet potato ocarina with the Zelda theme, the one based off of Ocarina of Time. From watching your videos, you've inspired me to express myself through music. Your sense of humor never fails to make me laugh, and your songs always have me dreading the final note because they're about to end. From showing me the ocarina to being a reason for me being in school's band, the school's band program, you've been both a source of entertainment and a huge impact on my life. If you could somehow manage to organize an ocarina gathering in my general area, or coincidentally host one when I'm in your area, I would be happy to come and hopefully meet you in person. Thanks, Willie F. P.S. Why Dr. Doc Jazz 4, 5, and 6? Were 1, 2, and 3 taken? Badoomch. First of all, thank you for your letter. I really appreciate it. And, um, I always feel a little bit overwhelmed when I read your guys' very kind comments about, um, what my videos mean to you, so thank you so much for letting me know. So yes, Dr. S4 um, was originally what I started with. I've ex if you check out some of my older videos, you'll see I explain what Dr. S4 means. And since 5 was the subsequent number, I went ahead and used that channel, and then I thought 6 is also cool after that. And before I got 5 and 6, I actually looked into 1, 2, and 3, and I noticed that other people really wanted to get Doc Jazz channels because of the subsequent number thing. So 1, 2, and 3 were taken. Dr. Jazz was one of the first ones taken. Uh, 1, 2, and 3 were taken uh, a couple years ago. And then uh, 5 and 6 were, were available early on when I when I took a hold of those. So, um, so yeah, Dr. Jazz 4 is my original one and the numbers was just playing around. I should also point out that um, just like on Ian's letter where he saw, he was mentioning I asked for leaves or flowers or whatever, jokingly, and he sent me Pokemon cards with the leaves and stuff on it, that Willie did the same thing. He pr printed a leaf onto the paper. So I got my leaves and my flowers and stuff. So you guys are awesome. I also wanted to try to knock out a couple messages that I got from you guys. Um, Nidhen3088 said, I was wondering what your name truly is. I say because I saw some old videos and you said it was Steven, but now it's David. I'm pretty confused. Maybe you can clear my confusion. Yeah, the thing about that is, in my older videos, I did say my name was David, but the way I said it, I said, hey everyone, it's David. 
And when I said it's David, it sounded like I said it's Steven. If you go back and watch my older videos where I'm talking, you probably can hear it. But well, the funny thing is that I've also gotten that in real life. When I've introduced myself as David, sometimes people heard Steven when I was younger. And that was just because I was mumbling. So, um, And then I, I probably did mumble a little bit in my older videos as well. So I apologize for that. And just to clear everything up, yes, it is D-A-V-I-D. Uh, thank you for your question. And the second question comes from Zombag Cancer. And he says, I need to know how you find sheet music for your ocarinas because I'm having trouble finding songs to play for mine. Um, I love to, f to uh, frequent the ocarinanetwork.com. They have plenty of free sheets and tabs um, in a, in a they have like their own sub forum. You can get them all for free. You just have to sign up for a quick account. And there's lots of awesome information about ocarinas there, so I recommend that. I also go on to Google and just type in the title of whatever songs I'm looking for, and usually somebody has one, um, the sheets available. And if they're not for free, then they're usually like $5 or less to get the sheet. Uh, if I'm pretty desperate, I will find the MIDI and put it into fin the Finale Music Program. And automatically, it automatically converts MIDIs into sheet music. And then uh, if... All those fails, there's no MIDI, there's no sheet music at all, I will actually transcribe it from ear. So I'll listen to the music, and then I will um, uh, put it into Finale and then print out the music that way. But um, I'll put a couple links in the description for places that I like to go for anime and video game music, as well as the Ocarina Network, which you can, um, you can go check out to get all your, your free sheet music there. So guys, thank you so much for all of your uh, letters and your kind words and your messages and uh, for your subscribing and your favoriting and commenting and all that stuff. I love hearing from you guys, so um, I just really appreciate you guys getting in contact with me. My P.O. Box address is in the description below, like I said at the beginning, and I look forward to getting more mail from you guys out there, and I don't know where I was going with that, but yeah. <laughs> You guys have a good night and a good weekend, and uh, I'll see you guys next week.